Take the ramp. We're taking the ramp. We're taking the safety ramp. I feel safer already. How are you guys doing this evening? All that stuff, that was me. This is exciting. Big day for some of you. You already did a lot of stuff. I got to skip all that. Wasn't really sure what the OACCAC was before I started today, and I did a little reading, and now I have no idea what you do. But honored to be here all the same. Uh, we're going to have a little fun tonight, a few laughs. I'd like to dis dispel this myth right now that laughter is the best medicine. We could shut this whole thing down if it was. Plus, I don't feel like I don't want it to be medicine. I want it to be painful. That's the thing. I just says it's the best medicine. I don't want that. People usually say, I laugh so hard, my stomach hurt. Good. That's what I'm going for. I want you to hurt. If I could dislocate one of your shoulders tonight, I will have done my job. I don't know if anyone else here has ever bought a fixer upper. I'm, I'm renovating right now. That's right. Anybody else going through that? Bought a house a few years ago. Needed some work. I've spent the last few years working on it. Now it needs twice as much work to undo all the things I've done to over the past few years. That's why I like this industry. You're the professionals, you do the work. Home renovation, not there. Everyone thinks they should do it themselves. We delegate so much in our lives. You know, you take your taxes to an accountant, you go to a stylist for a haircut. Dental work, still 100% farmed out to the professional community. Nobody in this room would wake up with some sensitivity in a molar and think, okay, I'll roll up my sleeves and see what I can do. But that same guy will get home and go, oh, my house needs a new roof? Okay. I'll watch a YouTube video on how to put a roof on a house. And all I can tell you is, if you're not a roofer, your roof is a ramp to your driveway. That's all it will ever be for you. That's my advice. Leave it to the professionals. I'm not, I live in the, I'm based professionally out of Toronto, but I live in Brantford, Ontario. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Home of Wayne Gretzky. It's an honor to be here in Toronto tonight, though. Uh, it's specifically an honor to be in Toronto supporting teams that are actually making a difference. That's a big thing. That's a rare treat in Toronto. You're on a winning team in Toronto. Run with that, okay? That might change. I don't know what Mike Babcock's gonna do. But if he does what he promises, he'll be here getting a critical care award next year. I don't know much about taking care of people at all. That's why I've, if I seem a little ignorant, that's because I'm ignorant on this whole subject. I, I'm very proud of you people. I'm, I'm very thankful for you people. I'm a 32-year-old man who has no children and lots of dogs. So you're helping people, and I've clearly given up on people. We're, we're miles apart. Like, I'm a true dog owner. I don't even, even when I go to the dog park, I don't even talk to the people. I talk to the dog loud enough that this person will hear me. That's how you work at the dog park. You talk to your dog, and people overhear you. You want to go home? Do you? Okay, we're going. Yeah, that's how you talk to people. I have all dogs, no kids, none. I've given up on people. Instead of, I have no children. I have these furry little children that aren't getting any smarter. That's all I have. And I have plural dogs. Because thank, you say th good for you, but you're wrong. It's no, it's, who here has multiple dogs? Yeah, you know how the lie starts. You get a dog, it has some behavioral problems, and then your jerk dog owner friends say, you know what you need to do? You need to get another dog. That'll take care of the first dog. When has a tornado ever been stopped by another tornado? I've never seen that happen. But when it comes to dogs, everyone buys it. So now I have all these dogs. And I'm not against getting dogs. I'm not against having dogs. My only advice is prepare for it. If you don't have a dog, if you're a prospective dog owner, you don't have one yet, don't go get one on a whim one day. If you want a dog a year from now, you go home this weekend and you trash your house. <laughs> and you see how it feels. I want you to take a baseball. I want you to throw it end to end. Let it smash into your valuables. See if your blood pressure changes. I want you to walk around and give yourself a haircut and let it fall on everything you own that's made of any fabric or any upholstery. As a third option, have your friend come over and step on your lap while you're trying to watch TV. Do those three things. That's the dogless dog test. Which brings me to my next point, partnership. This is one thing dogs do know about. 
When one of my dogs is looking at me funny and creating a diversion, I know another was not off somewhere peeing on something important. That's what I know. They work as a team. I will say the two things I took away from this. One, it's not wrong to lust for Denzel Washington. And number two, as an outsider, I rarely get to see a gathering of this many critical care uh, associates. And I just like to say how inspiring it is to see you join as a group and reward hard work and reward innovation. And when you do that, you create more than just a job, you create an industry where people are passionate and continue to grow more passionate. And I'd be honored to have any of you in charge of my care. So thank you so much for letting me be a part of your evening. My name is Graham Tindon. A round of applause for everyone who put this on this evening. Take care, take care of each other.